So just when you thought Hunter Biden couldn't stoop any lower, he hit an all-time low. Now, this isn't a story I would traditionally cover, but it truly pulled at my heartstrings because it involves an innocent child, his child, and something that has now hit court that he is attempting to block. And hence, we're here today at an all-time low. But it really goes into frame the bigger picture of what the Bidens simply don't want you to know. Your opinion matters. And so while you're watching this, I want you to think what is in the best interest. Answer in the comments below. I'll replay this same section at the end of the video to remind you. Comment. It's important because I don't believe personally that they should be allowed to get away with this. My name is Justice and I can't thank you enough for being here today. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your bell is checked so you're alerted to all upcoming broadcasts. And a huge favor, if you haven't gone over to our newest platform, one that's on the lighter side of things, go to we'reforkedup.com today. I'll also put a link to our YouTube channel here. Either one's perfect. It's 100% free. But let us make you laugh. It's the least we can do for all the support you've provided us over the years. And I promise you, it's restaurant and food reviews unlike anything you've ever seen before. Lisa Haven and I work day and night to provide you the news. But we too need an escape from this reality. And so we share our experiences with you. That's we'reforkedup.com. Get there today. Now, let's get back to this broadcast. If you aren't familiar with who's on your screen, that is London Roberts and Navy Joan Roberts, baby of Hunter Biden. So I'm going to take you back to the beginning of this story before we get to the new twist in this saga. It involves the wife of the now-deceased Bo Biden, as you see her on your screen, Haley Biden. Hunter's opened up about his relationship with his deceased brother's widow, Haley Biden. But during that relationship, something else occurred. Hunter, who was still married to his estranged wife Kathleen at the time, said he and Haley, we'll start there, were incredibly lucky that their family supported the unusual liaison after Bo died of cancer in May of 2015. A truly tragic story for Bo Biden. But to make the story even more twisted, during his relationship with Haley Biden, newlywed Hunter Biden denies he is the father of the one-year-old baby of 28-year-old Arkansas woman who claims he impregnated her during his relationship with brother Bo's widow. I know this is hard to make it up. It is a soap opera in every sense of the word. But a portion of this story hit my heart so hard I couldn't help but to bring it to you and really frame it in for what it is. Hunter Biden has hit back on a sensational lawsuit claiming he fathered the child of an Arkansas woman while he was living with his late brother, Bo's widow. Former college basketball player London Roberts filed a petition for paternity and support in May alleging Biden was the biological father of her one-year-old baby. That was at the time. That story continues forward. Biden ordered to appear in a paternity action uh, under threat of contempt. So from the very beginning, he has resisted any connection with this child. Eventually, the paternity suit is settled. Hunter Biden's paternity case ends in settlement with Arkansas women because they proved, well, beyond a shadow of a doubt, and I'll read it here, settlement talks between Biden and Robert Stearns came swiftly after Judge Meyer denied Biden's request to postpone a deposition scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday, again, way back when, in Little Rock, and pushed the case back nine months until after the 2020 presidential election. Boy, isn't that the ongoing storyline? in which Biden's father looks likely to be Democrat nominee facing off against President Donald Trump, which he, of course, ended up being. Biden cited travel concerns over the coronavirus. His eight-and-a-half-month pregnant wife and intense media scrutiny arising from President Trump, Republican senators, and other politically motivated to thwart former Vice President Joseph R. Biden's nomination as a Democratic candidate for president boy politics over paternity. But this is the twist in the saga that maybe bring it to you today. After multiple efforts to stave off support and multiple other articles coming out in the mainstream media always protecting Hunter Biden, he does this. A new all-time low. Hunter Biden asked court to stop Love Child from taking his sullied surname. He doesn't want maybe Joan Roberts, their child, to have the Biden name. Now, some would say that London Roberts is trying to cash in, but hold on for a moment. 
because this is about the child and it always needs to remain about the child. And there's a very legitimate reason why that name may make her future somewhat brighter as she has to contend with a father who has done everything in his power to assure she is not a part of his life. Recently, London Roberts sought to have a surname change for her daughter to Biden. Even after his long and abusive treatment of his daughter in court, Hunter Biden's opposition is breathtaking. Not in a good way. He opposes his daughter using his name and says that if she does, she will never have a peaceful existence. Strong. Harsh words. On the record, this child will have to read throughout her entire life now. And I've chosen only to show the back of the child's head, not showing images. I believe her image needs to be protected. Of course, Biden does not feel that way with his other four children. They are all true Bidens and living in peaceful existences. It is only Navy Joan who he does not want to bear the family name. So strong is this effort against a child. You remember this famous picture, all the other children, but no Navy Joan. Biden's family Christmas stockings exclude Hunter's out of wedlock daughter. Not forgetting, he is continually pursued. As you see here on Breitbart, Hunter Biden tries to lower child support payments, claiming financial hardship. And keeping in mind also that Joe Biden has refused any security detail for Hunter's, as they call it here, mini-me love child Navy, despite being made aware, again, of London Roberts has an ex, a cage fighter ex, that had threatened the mom and daughter. No security provided. Also remembering that in 1981, Joe Biden penned this op-ed. Again, 1981, expanding the child tax credit and allowing more women to work would subsidize the deterioration of the family. On one hand, concerned about the family. On the other, refusing even the simplest of details, security detail, which isn't a major request. Now, to the court case at hand, the Navy Joan should not have the surname Biden. There's case law that says more than likely she's going to win. Family law petition to change a minor's child's surname, the Arkansas Supreme Court. But despite that, and despite a case I'm about to show you, the obvious effort of the Biden family in this filing is to preserve distance from the child. The legal standard for a name change in Arkansas has been based on the best interest of the child. And that's what this broadcast is on not the political interest of the father and his family. Indeed, historically, Arkansas courts follow a presumption in favor of a child to have the surname of its father. One such court case was Kara Kathleen Huffman, a minor, and William H. Huffman and Catherine Huffman, guardians of the person of Jacob Austin Huffman, a minor. More recently, the Arkansas Supreme Court in Huffman v. Fisher laid out various factors to balance, including one, the child's preference, Two, the effect on the child's relationship with each parent. Three, the length of time that the child has borne the prior surname. Four, the community respect for the rivaling surnames. Five, the social difficulties that could arise from the adoption of the new surname. And six, the presence of any parental misconduct or neglect. The petition in court is this. It is based on the best interest of the child. Robert's lawyer claims that the Biden name is now synonymous with being well-educated, successful, financially acute, we can argue that, and politically powerful. And as the author puts out here, the financially acute part did jump out for many of us who have followed Hunter Biden's scandals for many years. Nevertheless, the child is clearly better off with the Biden surname, particularly in establishing the very connection that Hunter, Joe, and Joe Biden seem committed to conceal or ignore depending on your interpretation. Navy Joan is the grandchild of the 47th President of the United States of America. That alone makes the change beneficial. Navy Joan will be able to benefit from the cachet of that connection in applying to college, seeking employment, and other pursuits. It is also It also establishes, despite the efforts of the Bidens, that she is part of the family's legacy, potentially giving her a better life long term. There's no doubt, according to this author's opinion, and mine, about the best interest of the child in this filing. 
For their part, the Bidens have made it clear what is in their best interest. It is not the child. The court should make fast work of this petition and change Navy Jones' surname to Biden. That will not make the family more loving or supportive or accepting. She will have to eventually deal emotionally with this latest effort to conceal her true identity. Because Hunter has continued on. The Biden family has continued to dismiss. Yet she is a Biden and could easily prove the best of the lot. I want to thank Jonathan Turley once again for really putting this all into focus. An amazing, amazing journalist. So I ask you, what is in the best interest of the child? Your opinion matters. What is in the best interest? Answer in the comments below. It's important because I don't believe personally that they should be allowed to get away with this. And someone has to look after something that the Biden family has tried to refuse even exists. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless Justice Knight. Signing out.